Casey here, welcoming you to my world. If you're a regular, welcome back. And if you're new here, then don't forget to hit the subscribe button for weekly content. Or semi-weekly content. Because I don't know what's happening in the winter. And I talked about that a little bit in my last video. Boop. But I'm not going to get into it too much. So play my intro, bitches! Pa! Casey's World. Okay. Hey folks. So I don't know if you know this, some of you are pretty new here and I don't even know if you've seen my closet reorganization slash decluttering slash trying on shirts extravaganza type videos. But here is one of them where I try on all of my shirts and get rid of some of them. So you can click on that over here or, or there, wherever the thing pops up. I'm gonna try everything on in this pile. There's also a pile of shirts because I think I need to declutter that too. But for right now, we're just gonna focus on this. So this is the first sweater that I have to try on. It is a zip up hoodie. I love this sweater, it's comfortable. It's actually not mine. My cousin gave it to me from, uh, from Florida and I kind of had this weird attachment to it. Uh, because it reminds me of being in Florida and sunny happy times good times with the family and um, You know, I'm in New York where it's fucking cold and we're in a pandemic. So part of me like really wants to keep it, but Do y'all see this like Do y'all see this and also like it just looks like it's so like discolored like I'm just I don't, I feel like this has met its age, but I almost don't want to get rid of it until I get something that looks almost exactly like it. I'm not ready to let go of the memory that it, it carries with it. <sighs> so I'm going to hold on to it, but I will be buying a new sweater. And once I do have a new sweater in my closet, then I'm going to be getting rid of this puppy. For now, I'm going to keep this in my closet as a like whatever sweater. I don't think that I'm, my camera cut off. That is why I'm wearing a different sweater. But if you must know, this sweater is going in a, in a new pile. Very similar to this one because it is old and it should be thrown out. I do kind of like the way that it fits me. I'm not too crazy about the blue. The blue isn't the best. I do remember my dad wearing this um, and I feel like the, the color just suited him a little bit more, him and his blue eyes. Um, yeah, I think there's like, yeah, that's like oil stains and it's not, and again, I don't feel like it's super, super my fit. So I'm gonna put this in the nope pile. So, so far I've gotten rid of one, one item of clothing, just one. As much as I like this and as much as I think it, you know, suits me, I can definitely find other dresses that are similar to this and will close and will fit me. So unfortunately, I think this is gonna be a no. So contrary to what you might believe, I think that the camera isn't doing this um, justice. It is super wrinkled. And looking at it in the camera, I was like, I'm gonna throw it out just because it's wrinkled. But I went to the mirrors, both in my bathroom and in my mom's room. She has a huge mirror so you can see like the whole, you know, the whole getup. And I was like, if this were, you know, if, if this were ironed and it weren't as wrinkled as it is, I think that it would definitely be cute. I think not with tights, but like with short shorts underneath and some nice pumps or some nice boots. This could be like a very cute professional slash first date outfit. And I, or an audition outfit, you know, I'm an actress and I do need audition clothing. So I think that this is great. I think it just needs to be ironed and then put back in my closet but i'm definitely gonna keep this so so far i've got one piece that i know for sure i'm keeping in my closet so the next item was a skirt that i've actually never worn i tried to wear it when i went to ecuador but i was like 40 pounds heavier so it was way too small but now it fits like just right it fits just right and you know i think that the shorts underneath it are long enough so that i'm not shaping again i don't think that the camera angle does this full justice but the length of it is very very nice and I love the design I love the color I'm I'm really liking this so I'm gonna keep it 
This is a, another definite yes. Okay, so this probably does close all the way. I just don't have someone to zipper it up the rest of the way, but it probably does close. It feels like I have a lot of room in my titage, so it probably will hug them close. I really, really like this dress. This was actually my prom dress. I don't know, I'm honestly toying back and forth with it because I love the silhouette and I love the way that it looks and it, it's a perfect New Year's Eve dress and it's a perfect wedding dress and it's just, it's got so many occasions. It's like one of those fancy dresses that you just need in your closet. And honestly, I feel like it's the only one that I have. And so even though this here is kind of annoying and I know that if there was someone that could help me zip it up all the way then the little sprinkle things would cut me in the middle but i honestly i think i'm gonna keep it i like it way too much and i feel like it's like the only dress that looks new yearsy or like very very festive so it's a definite yes for me okay so i don't know about y'all but i was really ready to like get rid of this because a it, it doesn't fit me yet and b it looks raggedy like if you're up close, it just looks like a dress that's been worn forever. But still, like, sis got range. Like, mm, like she looks cute. Like, put on a nice pair of black shoes. You know, do a little nice makeup look. And you could dress this dress up for a wedding. Dress it down with some white sneakers, which I actually own now. And it could be, it could be a cute casual dress. I think that this dress has still has life in it. And I, I know at some point I'll definitely fit in this. It always was a dress that I felt comfortable and loose um, to move around in. So again, this is a definite yes. So this is a Christmas dress that I got from Target and it used to fit me very differently. Now it just kind of like hangs on my body because I've dropped 40 pounds since I bought it. I was thinking about getting rid of it just because it really kind of only has one occasion to its name. It's a Christmas dress. I mean, like, it is. It actually is a Christmas pajama dress, which is insane because I actually wore this on Christmas. But there's a lot of ways to wear it, and I have worn it in a couple different ways. So I think I'm going to keep it, guys. I think I like it. There's another piece that I really like. I feel like I'm keeping a lot of pieces. I remember throwing out a turquoise shirt last time that I did a clean out. And it was because it was so bright but this one's like it's it's more muted do you see how it's like a little bit more muted so it kind of fits my skin tone a little bit more it is very like tight around the the arms but that'll go down once i lose some more weight so before i talk about this shirt that i'm wearing i did try and try on this shirt which i swear to god i believe i bought almost six years ago if not longer and when I bought it, it fit me very, very tight. And then I gained weight, so it hasn't fit me. I've never actually worn this shirt. It has been collecting dust in my closet for six years. And although I love the style and I love the, um, the, the color, this is gonna collect dust for so long and it's already collected dust for so long. I'd rather buy something that I know is going to fit me right now, that I can wear right now and that will last a lot longer because this is kind of what I was going for at least was the oversized look and this is going to take a really long time to fit me oversized so if I buy something new that's like the same size as I am the more weight I lose the more oversized it will look which is the look I'm going for so this is going to be a no now this this is new I really like this I usually don't wear things that are bright blue because I'm a I'm a warmer gal. Things are warmer, but this this just this works for me. So it's a definite yes. So this is the dress that I wore that I bought to wear for my very first date with the beautiful boy that I went on a date with, and I bought it less because oh this is a very nice dress and I really like the color and I really like the way it looks on me, and more because he said his favorite color was blue and I was like I want to make a good impression and show that I care yeah i mean that's what first experiences are for you are living and learn definitely kiddos if you're gonna go on a date make sure that you're wearing something that you feel 100 percent confident in not just because it's the color that the person likes hello just my little, little little tidbit of advice when i first bought this dress i was definitely a lot heavier than i am right now 
and it didn't fit me the way I wanted to, but it was the only thing that it was blue that I could find in the thrift store that looks semi nice, so I got it. Obviously I have slimmed down and so now it looks kind of nice, but I don't know, it just looks so like, blech. It just looks so casual. And I have worn this for a photo shoot and in the photo shoot, I brightened up the blue so it looks just more like wow I'm here look at me and I think if it was actually that color I would dig it a lot more than it is now it just looks kind of like this weird faded like almost jean dress even though it's not made of jeans I don't know I think that if my skin were a little bit lighter it might look cuter but I'm just not feeling it I think that this is gonna be a no unfortunately I'm going to have to let it go along with the beautiful memories that it held <laughs> This is actually the shirt that I wore on my second date with aforementioned first date boy. He swore that this was white, but can you see now, sir, it's yellow. It's yellow. It's yellow. Back then, this fit me perfectly and I could wear it with, you know, a nice pair of mustard jeans, which is what I wore. And on that day, on that day, I definitely felt my best. I had my hair all day. I had like nice gold on gold. I just looked like a princess that day. I would like to point out the, the second day outfit. I was definitely way more in love with than the first day outfit. But that's besides the point. Now that I've lost about 30 to 40 pounds, it fits really big. And I don't think that it's the type of, you know, I don't think it's a type of material and I don't think it's the type of style that's supposed to be oversized. It just looks weird and baggy and I will find something else that I feel, you know, better in. I will find, I will find another oversized yellow-esque beauty, but this, this ain't it, mama. I used to be obsessed with this dress. I wore it when I was a teenager. It used to be my thing. I wore it to countless parties and weddings and it was like, yes, because red is my color. And I will admit that red still is my color and you know, the dress kind of looks really cute on it. But I'm not too crazy about these like black sections that lead into the belt. I will admit that the style, you know, it's it's kind of cute. But from far away, it looks very childlike. It looks very teeny tweeny. And I'm not, I don't know, I'm just, I'm not the biggest fan of it anymore. And it also doesn't fit me right now. I'd have to lose some weight to fit into it. And I don't know, by the time that I fit into it, I'm probably gonna have more dresses that I like that I would prefer to wear more than this one. Yeah, I'm gonna donate this one. It's time, it's time to let you go. Thank you for the beautiful memories. You made me feel like Katniss Everdeen because you're red. And Katniss Everdeen was the girl on fire. But it's gonna be a no for me, red dress. I'm sorry. This dress was supposed to be my senior year toast champagne dress, which I did wear it then. And at that point, it hugged everything so beautifully and this flowing at the corner. I just, I looked hot. But now I just kind of look like a box. So this dress is gonna be a no. Also, I had this sweater in the pile of clothes and it mimics the blue dress that I decided to get rid of, except it's pink. It just looks weird and, and faded. And I mean, add to that the fact that it's wrinkled and it's not one of the pieces like the cotton candy dress that I'm like, oh my God, I need to wrinkle this because it would look great. Yeah, I don't really think it would look that great. So this is gonna be a no and this is gonna be a no. And it's looking like so far I have gotten rid of more pieces that I'm keeping, which was the goal. So yay. <laughs> okay, there is no question about it. I'm definitely keeping this. This just has juice in it. It has life left. I love the way you see. Mm, she's got boobage. She's hot. She's got a figure. She's an hourglass. She's hot, 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 hot. This finally fits me the way that it used to when I started college because I'm around the same weight that I was when I started college. This was the shirt that I would wear without fail with a nice pair of jeans every single time that I went clubbing. It was this shirt. Did I ever get any attention from guys wearing this shirt? No, not at all. But did I feel smoking hot wearing it? Yes, absolutely. So it's definitely a keep. I love the way I'm looking in it now. This is such a good shirt, guys. I'm definitely keeping this. 100% yes, it takes all the boxes. I almost had a mental breakdown because this dress has not fit me since high school. The last time I wore this dress 
probably junior year or senior year in high school. And I did not think that it was gonna fit me, but guys, 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 it fits. I just went to all the mirrors in my house and I looked like a cute fucking Renaissance fair Bridgerton type bitch and like, ooh, sis, I burn for myself. I burn for you, bitch, because you're fucking hot. <laughs> yes. I'm definitely keeping this and I will be wearing it so many times these days because it just, it's so cute and it's vintage. It, look, sis, ooh, it's a, a, a vibe. I'm keeping this and I will be wearing this. I will be wearing this. This is it. I'm so happy. How many audition outfits slash first day's outfits have I found today? This is why I love trying on clothes. This is why I love forcing myself to try on clothes because you find so many pretty things that you just thought, that's never gonna fit me. Plot twist, it fits you perfectly, bitch. So I wore this skirt on New Year's Eve and it was a look. I had like a nice little sparkly thing on top cute nice aesthetic tiktok video so you can see the whole outfit put together ciao and it was a good outfit like you saw it was it was a good outfit but i've had this skirt probably since i started college and it was also another one of the go-to's for the college parties and and all that jazz and i have tons of pictures of myself wearing it and this skirt was definitely a good time and you know, I like I said, I wore it for a ton of auditions. I think I must have worn it for literally every single semester audition just with a different top and, you know, with a different style going on in my shoes and my hair. But yeah, this, this is a whole audition fan favorite. But I found all these cool dresses and I found that skirt that I, that finally fits me in my closet. And so I'm looking at my wardrobe right now, the things I decided to keep. And there's a, at least, maybe like five solid audition pieces. I don't think that I need this. I think it's time to retire this skirt and I actually do wanna go go look for more skirts and I wanna look for something that represents my style a little bit more and something more festive, something maybe a little like orange or like pink, just like grabbing your attention. That's what I'm looking for. But yeah, I'm not, It's it's gonna be a no for me okay folks so unfortunately this is going to be the end of the video because i'm looking at my phone and there is not enough time nor memory storage for me to go through another pile of shirts and clothing but this is the pile that i decided i'm gonna get rid of this is the pile of clothes i decided i'm gonna keep and those are the two sweaters that i'm really not sure about i'm probably just gonna need to get new sweaters and replenish but anyways if you have made it this far then please comment the turquoise dress because dresses and i'm so happy that i found nice cutesy pieces to wear and uh hold on i'm gonna turn my camera around so i can talk to you guys for five seconds so hey babe so this is pretty much the end of the video and i'm so happy that you stayed this far actually if you wanted to know the reason that i decided to make this video and the reason that i will be making the next video where i declutter all of those shirts over there is because I want to replenish my wardrobe, my clothing. I got a lot of money in Amazon gift cards for Christmas slash my birthday. And I thought what better way to spend it than on a wardrobe that's going to make me feel confident and help me accomplish what I want to accomplish and be the woman that I want to be. So I got rid of some things. I'm going to get rid of more shirts and then I'm going to count the things that I got rid of and buy half the number of things because I'm not trying to blow up my closet. I'm trying my best to be a minimalist and not have as many pieces of clothing, but I do want to treat myself and buy some more. But anyways, that is the game plan. I will see you next week when I declutter my shirts. Anyway, until then, bye baby dolls. Thank you so much for watching.